Hey everybody! Happy Tuesday to you. I've been getting some work done. I I am actually working on some board game reviews. I know I've I've said it a few times, but like I'm I'm actually working on one, and I I feel I, I feel pretty excited. You know, it's a bit more ambitious than my other videos have been, but that's you know that's a good thing because it means I'll uh I'll be getting outside my comfort zone and I'll actually be doing more. Um, I I adjusted the audio duck because I listened back last time and I accidentally set a little too low. So you'll probably be able to hear it here whenever I talk. The music will go down and then I'll come back up um, later. And actually I can turn it up a bit because it'll just automatically go back down some. Uh, maybe not that much. Go minus three, I think. But yeah, as always, just let me know how the audio sounds and I will adjust accordingly. We're just gonna keep going through the 150cc Grand Prix here. We are on to a new cup last time. I, I forget what the new cup is. Let's see. Are we on the egg cup? No, we beat the egg cup. We're on the crossing cup. Let's see, we got the crossing cup, shell, shell, banana, leaf, lightning, triforce, and bell. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get into it. I was able to get half in my first run. I was able to get two of them first place, one of them second place, and then the last one I got fourth, which is unfortunate. But you know what? That's just part of it. Let's let's go. Okay. Yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of grinding stuff. Because I'm, I'm just trying to 100% this, and in the hope, um, in the, within that, hoping to, you know, just improve at Mario Kart. I love the games. I've been playing them since I was a kid. I just, you know, never got all that good at them. Get going, get going. Come on. Baby, uh, yeah, baby heart is pretty ridiculous. So I just saw somebody, think it was Peach over the, the little thing here and cut the corner. Can I do that? Ooh, not quite. I think if I... I think if I hop at the right time, I could. But let's not worry about that. Let's just focus on getting these good drifts. Already in first here, two laps to go. Yeah, see? Oh, okay, looks like they're using the, uh, the mushroom. Oh, well, that's not great, but it's all right. I'm still up front. Let's get it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no, this is the last lap. Crap. For some reason, my brain was like, yeah, that's good, we did it. Whoops. I don't want to be first now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me... Ah! I almost zipped right ahead of him. That would have been great. Oh well. Alright, so we are restarting. I wish there was an option to just restart from where... It would be a little more convenient, you know? Oh well. Alright. Let's get it going. Baby Park. Yeah, I never played Double Dash. It's supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be one of the better ones. Presumably, you'd want to play it. It's one of the multiplayer ones, which was a big push that they made with the GameCube was a lot more multiplayer games, if I remember correctly, so that, that definitely makes sense. Um, yeah, and then especially with the Wii, the Wii was all about, like, party games and uh, getting everybody involved in it. You know, grandma, grandma, grandpa, kids, parents, everybody. 
And it was a genius idea because, like, the Wii did the best of basically any home console. Um, only eclipsed by the DS, which was, like, humongous in sales. And now the Switch, I mean, with the pandemic and everything, the Switch, like, really popped off. Ah, nuts. All right, it's all right. I'm still, still up front. It is hard with this ink in the way. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me go, let me go. Oh, okay. I could not tell who would have had to beat me, but that felt close. I'm gonna add a marker for that from my phone. Here we go, Cheese Land. Cheese Land feels like it's gonna be tricky. It's pretty technical with a lot of these curves. Ooh. And with those chain chomps, that's a pretty big, uh, it's a pretty dicey factor. So, find out. Uh oh. That's all right. Oh, watch out. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't really matter either way. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. I've been watching a lot because I am working on those reviews and they're going to get a little more intense. I was like, maybe I should look up, you know, how to do, how to plan a uh, shoot. I'm going to have some outdoor shots. I'm going to have uh, uh, a lot more footage. Whereas in a lot of my videos, you know, the unboxings and the movie reviews, it's just kind of like one video file that I, I chop up, which is obviously like the simplest form of editing. So I'm gonna need to stay organized and everything. Um, right now, I think I have a pretty solid script. I, I feel like I've said everything that I want to. But, yeah, I just need to, um, I just need to take the time to, just need to take the time to actually like plan out my shots and basically turn it into a, a shooting script rather than just you know, concept. Right now it's a lot of big blocks of dialogue. I, I wanna get a little more granular. I'm gonna storyboard again. It's gonna involve some art. I'm gonna be doing some drawing, which you know, I, haven't, I didn't draw it all last month. I, I drew some while I was on vacation at the end of December. And I haven't really, I was just, yeah, last month was real busy, so I didn't get a chance to really draw. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be drawing on this. I do still plan on doing, I wanna do an animation of uh, the board game Root, which is my, my first review. I say review, I mean more like autopsy analysis kind of thing. You know, I won't title it as a review necessarily, but, um, yeah, your review implies that it's something still new, but I, I feel like you can... I feel like there's more to be said about something after you've been messing around with it for a while. There we go, first, okay. Two in the bag. Yeah, that was, I got second um, last time I played on that track, so I feel like hopefully this third one doesn't give me troubles. Was this, the uh, Wild Wild Woods? Oh, just Wild Woods, excuse me. I love how they, like, side-eye the camera. That's all right. That's all right. You can get ahead there, Isabel. That is Isabel, right? Oh, no, that's Lakitu. I no Lakitu. Or is that Lakitu? I didn't realize you could play as Lakitu. That makes it a little confusing. I guess it'd be 
a different Lakitu. Well, he's playing real aggressive. That's fine. He can soak up any blue shells. Whoop. Whoa, all these water features. Oh, yeah, a lot of jumps in this one. Uh-oh. That's all right. That's all right. It's still the first lap. We got the blue sparks. You usually want to hold out for at least, uh... Uh, what is it, yellow? I know purple is the highest one. I think yellow is after blue. But I'm just really out of practice. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Man, I'm going real sloppy on the... It's still the second... It's still the second one. So I'm not too worried. It's still the second lap. Yeah, there's yellow. Maybe gold. Oh, there's purple sparks. Here we go. Gotta make a push for first... In this third lap. Otherwise, when, when would I? Did from the blue shell. Oh, uh, let's go right. Let's go right. It's lined up a little better. And then we. Yeah. Okay, okay. And the yellow. Ah, I think I, it did just at the end there. Oh, no, no, no. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, I got time. I got time. Nope. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't think I can make it. A little too close. Unless, uh, maybe I can make a push. I don't think I have enough time. No. Yeah, it's already too late. Well, get at least third. Good fun. Well, shoot. Okay. Have a little of my drink. I'm drinking Bolt 24, the uh, Energize, which has the caffeine. Not my favorite. I prefer the standard electrolyte version, but uh, yeah, they didn't have it at the Publix, so I'm I'm a little nervous that they're um they phase they're phasing it out. They never had it at Walmart, so I guess it just never got the support it needed. I like it a lot. Personally. Here we go. Alright, Baby Park is no problem. More like Baby Plate. Child's Plate. Eh, well. No real place to do uh, any jumps for boost, so it's, it pretty much all comes down to the uh, drift on this one. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting seeing how they hold the banana. It's like, it's just a peel, but they hold it from underneath. It's a bit odd. Alright. Front of the pack really no safe space in this this track and yeah we're gonna bananas it up so I can maybe get a boom box or whatever they're called oh no bananas well I'll protect me from most things fortunately will not protect me from the blue shell but let's just hope it gets one Oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, come on, no! Aw, oh, baloney. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here. Boo! No, coming in third. Second, second is respectable, I guess, but I gotta, <coughs> gotta go again. Ludwig! It's always Ludwig. Maybe they set it up like that. If you're playing as one of the Koopalings that 
another Koopaling will be your rival? I don't know. I can't say for certain. Let's keep it going. Run, what is this, four? I think this is my fourth run. Fifth, if you count the one from, uh, from Saturday. Nice, double box. And we got a mushroom. Be useful. Yep. No, nope, that was dumb. Shouldn't have done it that way. It's all right. It's all right. We still got five laps to go. Ooh, okay. All right, got the banana for a little protection. Just got the red shell for a little. Um. aggression. Whoops, come on. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, in first. I think I can manage, I just gotta get through these real quick. Where anyone can blue shell. Come on now, come on now. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Just barely over the line. And there was a blue shell. Whew. That could have been dicey. But I, I hit it just in time. All right, all right. Keep it going, keep it going. A little early. A little early, I think. What? Oh. Knock the edge there. Uh-oh. Don't want too much speed going around there. get plenty of opportunities for jumps, so I want to utilize those as much as I can. Lots of drifts. Alright, there we go. Plenty of tight corners. Whoa. Dropping bananas left and right. A little hard to see here, too. Ah, damn it. Come on now. We're just gonna, we're gonna get around this corner. Zip. A mushroom could be useful, but there's not a lot of straightaways. I want to, you know, use it when I don't really need it. There we go. That works. Nope. Nope. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bump it. There we go. Come on now, come on now. Oh boy, yeah, I don't, I don't like my odds here. Oh, 
Oh, wait, wait. I might be able to pull it off. Ooh, ow. No, there it was. There was my death. Ah, oh, here. Well, let's finish out the race at least. Finish it in eighth. Man, I did awful there. <laughs> Okay. Let's give her another shot. Okay, okay. Let's do it over here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Right, here we go. Um, anything else new happened with me? Oh yeah, uh, I s I'm auditioning on Casting Call Club again. I haven't done it in years, because my, yeah, my experience with Casting Call Club generally has been the, the, the majority of projects I've been on have either not finished, or, uh, well, that's kind of it, yeah. Most of them, they just never got finished. Because they were just, uh, either too ambitious, or the person in charge ran out of steam when they realized how much work it was, or, uh, a combination of both, really. So, oof. I saw it coming. I saw it coming, and I didn't dodge. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing them for fun. It's I I'm, I'm want to do more character stuff, both for practice and just to get myself out there a little more. I, I've i been able to make a decent living doing voiceover, but it, it, I'm so insular about it, you know? It's like I do it by myself. Most of the ads are all, like, local stuff and no one's ever going to hear, and it's like... It might look nice on a resume, I guess, which I do need to put together an acting resume to submit to some of these agencies. Um... But it's not. Yeah, it's just not what I want to do, you know? So I will continue to do it because it pays. And, you know, if you want to make a living as a voice actor, you kind of have to do commercial work to some extent. But, yeah, I want to want to do some more character stuff. So audition for a couple projects. Who knows? I don't know. It's it's also that back years ago when I was auditioning regularly, it's like it's so much work to organize and record and put it all up. But it's also that now in my professional work, I'm nailing so many of my auditions. Like out of all of the auditions I do, I feel like a good like 90% of them I am getting the role. And it's just for, like, short, you know, local ads for the most part. Um, but, like, I'm still getting them. So I'm like, maybe... Yeah, maybe now, uh... My, uh... My auditioning skills are just better and I'll be able to get some of the roles I wanted. That was the other thing, I guess, with Casting Call Club, is, like, I don't want to sound petty, but as an actor... Obviously, there are certain roles that you want a lot more than others, so, like, when I would get roles, they'd just be ones where I was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then all the roles I really wanted, the ones that sounded super fun, I would never get those, so I was just a little frustrated. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be picky. I'm gonna pick the, the projects that sound actually, like, entertaining. And, uh, let's see how it goes. Um, and I also, you know, I want to do more of my own projects, you know, that, uh, that involve voiceovers so that I can get myself out there that way. I mean, if I look at, like, Rosie D, who's, like, a huge inspiration to me, he just did, like, different, different sketches or, like, his, uh, Disney's Goofy covers that are really fun. 
and he would just do like something a week. I was like, I should, I should be doing that. You know, there's no reason not to. I could be doing stuff on TikTok or whatever and just at least get myself out there. Because while all of this non-union stuff is, is fun enough and you can make a living off of it, it's just not what I want out of voiceover, you know? I want to be in, like, cartoons, whether they're online cartoons or, like, video games or... Like, actually going to L.A. and joining the union and stuff, it's like, I just want... That's the kind of work I want to do. And now with the internet, it's like, it's more accessible than ever. There's no reason I shouldn't be gunning for that, rather than spending all of my time just focused on subsisting on whatever paid gigs I can get. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just tricky, because, like, my brain is, like, um... You, you're making money as a voice actor, you are a professional voice actor, so that's good enough. But in reality, it's, it's, uh, it's a little insidious, it's just, like, that's not what I want, that's just a version, a lesser version of what I'm hoping for. And so while it's been for a bit, like, and something of enough. Now I'm just like, no, I need, I need to actually strive for what it is I really want. And it'll be a lot of work. But you know what? It was a lot of work getting to where I'm at now. So getting to where I, I want to be next. It's just always going to be a big process. Ah, you stole my shells. You son of a I don't know, and then with streaming, it's like... Streaming is another outlet for that, but at the same time... Um... Streaming is something that... I can just do regardless. You know, I just... Hop on... Do the stream, and then, uh... It's all good, I don't have to edit or anything. It's like... Not to say I'm not putting effort into it, I put a lot of work into these streams, but... The actual performance of the stream is, like, very simple, and it doesn't require a ton of editing or anything. No! Ah, oh, you... Ah, oh, right at the end, huh? Okay, okay, maybe I can make it. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, I could have made it. I don't think I can now. Wait, maybe. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, oh, Link got it right at the last second. Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay. In fact, let me see. One viewer. You know, it's all good. I've done... I've done streams with zero viewers before. <laughs> I ain't gonna call it quits. It's just, I guess it's just a little frustrating because it's any time I try and do more popular games. Like this, it's like I was doing Jack X and I was actually getting better numbers probably because there wasn't as much competition, but at the same time... I don't really like Jack X very much. Uh, I, I will probably finish it eventually. It's just like today I was not feeling it and I just Yeah, like the races are Pretty fun. I like the rush hour bits. I like the freeze route like the parts where you're just actually racing I like but the fact that to get through the adventure mode you need to be able to do the death matches and such it's like Yeah, I'm not into that they're just not very fun in comparison to a lot of the other modes. And even then, it's like, it controls pretty bad for a racing game. Like, there are aspects of it that work, but a lot of it is, uh, is pretty frustrating. 
Um, specifically just that, like, you can just bump right into a wall. If you bump into a wall here in Mario Kart, like, the, the likelihood that that's just gonna stop you dead is, like, pretty low. Like, it'll slow you down, but you'll still be facing forward. You won't have to reverse out of it. Which is just such a ridiculous thing to add to a racing game. Um, why did I move on to this? I, I didn't get enough last time. I was distracted by my own commentary. Whoops. That's alright, it's good practice. Come on now, come on now. Whoa, that's straight guy is going. I don't always notice the background details in games like this. Come on now. Let's go, let's go. Up and around. And second. It's okay. I wasn't gonna continue with it anyways. <laughs> oh, sweet new vehicle. That's another reason why I'm grinding through all this. Get all the get all the various vehicles. Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll go back to that. Maybe we'll go back to this guy. Well, okay, how does it look in comparison to the one I've been using? Where is the one I've been using? <coughs> right. And... Versus... Ah, uh, let's go with the P-Wing. We're moving back to it. Let's see how it helps. Here we go. We're on the way to the place we need to be. Alright. One more time. Come on now, come on. Alright, I'll save this mushroom in case I get knocked down by a banana or something. Oh, like that. Well, a little fast. That's the thing, is the mushroom is maybe a little much. In this course. It's like, it's a very small course. Oh, come on, dude. Ah, it's so bonkers. So much is going down at any given time. Come on now. At least get the gold most times. Ah, uh, nope. This is not good. And of course, this small, any setback at this point, yeah, I'm done. I'm done for. Oh, ah, could have gone third at least. Oh well. I haven't even got into the actual Animal Crossing course.
All right, come on. I had good luck the first first red here, but uh, been tricky. All right, here we go. Red shell. Okay. Some good protection. Ooh. Oh, oh. Slick timing there, Lee Big. Being sneaky, eh? Not for long. All right. All right. This is a much tighter run. Good sign, good sign. No! Nice, didn't even need to use the red shell. All right. Keep it going. Cheese land it is. Ba boom Good start, good start. Okay. Ooh, Daisy got an even better start than I did, though. Yeah, I saw that coming. That's all right. We got us a little boost there. Ah, uh, going off, off track. Really, the biggest issue on this one. Real easy. I need to replay Super Circuit at some point. I mean, I plan on playing all the Mario Karts at some point on here, but Super, I'm pretty sure this is not what Cheese Land was like. It had the divots in the ground, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, I don't think they could have done curves like this. I like all this elevation change. Certainly didn't have uh, other bits. But, you know, that's, that's something they added to most of these. Oh, no! No! Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on, Cooper. We got a lot to do. Oh no, oh no. Come on, speed up. Alright, alright, here we go. It's me and uh, Tanuki Mario. I thought it was Daisy who was really giving me guff most of this track. That's all right. There we go, purple sparks. It might be tight, but I'm, I'm making my way. Oh, that was very tight. All right, there we go. Clean shot, clean shot. No, no, not the blue shell. Not the blue shell. No, not now. Not now. No. Ah. 
Ah, that blue shell, man, it's brutal. All right, all right. Ugh. Give it another shot. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna change uh, the tires. I think, I think I'm gonna go with these white ones. I'll go with that. Let's give this loadout a shot. I have some proper water. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep it going. Go! Here we go. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Come on, dude. No, oh, no. I mean, this this course can be pure chaos, but my goodness, There's some serious chaos going on. What? Da -da, here we go. Okay, okay, I can maintain this. I can maintain this. Come on, just about a lap left. Here we go, here we go. Let's get through. Yeah, there we go. All right, next one. Next one up. Bam! There we go. Okay. There we go. Gonna, gonna keep it real serious this time. I wanna at least get through the wild woods. My goal right now is just to get the Animal Crossing course without having to quit out. Come on now. There we go. There we go. And of course, ideally, I would uh, be able to finish the Animal Crossing course in first as well, but you know, let's take it one step at a time here. Let's not get greedy. Oh. For your death. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, just barely skirting off the edge. That's the real, real trouble with this one. Is it 
stops you so dead. Alright, there we go. There we go. Zip, zip, zow. Okay. Come on, we got this. Oh, no, 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 no! Let me get through, let me get through! Please, please! No! Please, 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 please! Oh god, oh god, let me through! Oh my god, he was right behind me! Oh... Oh, that was intense. Okay. Let's do it. Here we go. Whoa, why did I stop? I let go of the the accelerator for some reason. Oops. I was lemming my rival on this this one. It's hard to tell uh, before he's land. I, I think Cheeseland is a funny name because it feels fake, you know? It feels like what your dad would call it or something, Planet. Just like, oh yeah, that, that Cheeseland. It's like, no, that's, that's what they call it. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, I got plenty of room. Got about a lap and a half left, so that's fine. Nope, no, no! Oh, that is the worst spot for that. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, no! Banana! Maybe, actually. Actually, I might. I might. Oh, it's gonna be close, though. Whoop. No. Oh, I threw it back. I meant to throw it forward. Oh, my God. Oh, literally right as I went over. Oh. Stream marker. That. Oh, my God. Holy crap, that was so intense. All right, Animal Crossing. This is my first time even getting here with uh, all firsts. Oh, hey, there's KK. I think I did it. Nope, didn't do it too early. Yeah, I don't know. Lemmy's on that little thing, which is like apparently super fast. Whoops. That's all right. 
always feel like that always feels like it's the end of the course or something, but it's like certainly not, you know. Nice, thank you, Ludwig. Very helpful, my brother. Although, actually, did you know that they're not siblings? Weird little factoid. Um, yeah, the Koopalings are not even related to Bowser. They're just dudes he hired. So, uh, look at that, what you will. up. The Animal Crossing music here is fantastic. I mean, this whole track is great. Ooh, there was Peanut. Why would you do that to your friend Peanut? Why would you let him get deleted? Oh boy, I got max max coins, so that's good. It was a rabbit. I don't know which one. Oh, I saw that coming. That's all right. There's a boost right here. Okay. What do we got? A ah, banana. That's good for protection, at least. Don't get too close behind him. Cause he's got that banana. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, three very close finishes. I'm, I appreciate this, which is to the chill Animal Crossing music. Oh man. All right. Let's view the results. I wish there was a little trophy ceremony like in N64. And I mean, I get it. It is just like the same animation with different cars, but like, feels good. Oh man, a very nerve wracking run, but I managed. There it is, three stars. The Crossing Cup. Nice, nice, and nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a break. That's a good spot to stop. I'm a little earlier than the top of the hour, which is when I'd normally do it, but it should be all right. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I will be our back with more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in just a minute. Okay, okay.
Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Iggy Kid and we are playing through the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Grand Prix. We're on the 150cc. I've already 100%ed 50 and 100. I just before the break uh, finished up the Crossing Cup, which I'm feeling pretty good about. Yep, there it is. So I got the entire top row. I think you're supposed to go like dude, like that, 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 or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're moving on to the Shell Cup. Let's start it up. To 100% it, you gotta get first in every single track in one run. Um, which is, you know, depending on the track can be easier or harder. Like, the baby, baby park was pretty easy, but some of these other ones can be pretty dicey. Alright, Moo Moo Meadows! I never really played the Wii in Mario Kart either. That was the first one to use, like, motion controls, and I feel like it would have been okay, right? Ah. Um, yeah, I, I played a lot of N64. And, uh, Super Circuit, which was GBA. Never played a lot. Never really played many of them between that, and I never had a Super Nintendo, so I didn't really play much of, uh... The original. But I've now played quite a bit of 8, I think. Uh, in terms of overall time, probably still N64 is the one I've played the most. But... Um... Eight is the one I've played the most seriously in this particular in this particular journey to try and 100% it. I'm very nervous for when I get to 200 CC. That looks so intimidating. You have to be so precise, move so fast. But you know what? Dang it! I missed. Cause that was zigzagging. But you know what? Uh, I'm excited for the challenge, man. I like racing games. They're very challenging and exciting while also having, you know, can be pretty technical. Um Yeah. Plus they're they're very well paced. They're really pacey for uh extremes. Um Uh, which was one of the things that with Jack X that I've been having some issues with is the the courses are just so long They only have like two laps, but like it's really not nearly as pacey as I'd like it to be, you know Whoa, we're lifting up GBA. Yeah, I don't remember this it was a long time ago that I played the GBA one though Go, there we go. Whoop. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. You know, I'd like to take a minute to uh, mind y'all if you haven't. Uh, please consider following and subscribing. You know, if you have. Twitch Prime, which if you have Amazon Prime, if you just connect your two accounts, you get Twitch Prime for free. Um, you can use one free sub per month, and I'd appreciate it if you used it on me. You know, if, you're, if you're having a good time, any way you could support the channel, very appreciated. I do this, you know, I do, I do this because I enjoy doing it, but if I was able to get to a point where I could... Win, just stream. That'd be that'd be pretty neat. It's not my like dream, you know. Obviously, I my my dream would be to just be working, uh, working doing cartoon voices. But it's it's difficult because all the places where you can do that are super expensive. So you know what? If I was able to have a sustainable career 
streaming, that open up a lot of opportunities for me to go somewhere where I could I could pursue that kind of voice acting. Who knows? Maybe someday. Affiliate now, which means that you know I can make money off of stuff. I forgot to run an ad on the break. See, this is I'm I'm I don't know how good my prospects of uh doing this full time are if I forget such such obvious things. DS. I never played Mario Kart DS either. That'd be a fun one. That's the one where you can play as Rob, right? Yeah. All right, cut across a little bit. Well, DS is the one where you can just like snake, right? Where you can just like wiggle back and forth like crazy and um, win. Whoa, that's a very tight, tight little situation. Ah, um, maybe I should just stream more. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Would it be better to stream for longer periods each time I stream, or would it be better to stream more often? I think it'd be better to stream for longer periods, because honestly, my marathon streams, where I go for like close to 10 hours sometimes, those always do the best. You know, I get the most numbers, I get the most people coming in and out. These, these like, short little two-hour streams I do, they do okay, but I, I just, uh, yeah, most, most of the time I just end up getting one or two people, maybe, sometimes nobody. It's like, I mean, during the weekday, you know, people are busy. And I can't deny, me too. And I'm also usually pretty busy during the week, so I don't get to watch other people stream nearly as much as I'd like to. It's hard. It's hard being a, a attentive, friendly character in this community. Oh, I, didn't, I just noticed the Kiantas over there. That's cute. There we go. Oh, oh I gotta watch out for these trees. Oh, not in the water, not in the dip. All right, all right. Yeah, my hope, I, I think right now I'm not I'm not doing too much, but part of that is just I'm nervous about how it will tax my, um, my computer. Because right now I'm on a MacBook, which works okay. You know, obviously I have to do uh, 30 FPS, and I, I've realized I really couldn't do camera if I wanted it to look decent. Um, and overlays and stuff, but like, once I get a more decent computer, I'll probably stream more because it'll just be like, turn it on, ready to go. You know, I don't have to shut everything down and restart it. I can just turn it on. I can, I could, you know, maybe do some YouTube reacts. I could do uh, some vlog stuff. All sorts of things. I just, I'd like to set it up to be a more regular thing. I also, uh, oh yeah, Toad Turnpike. This is one of my favorites in the N64 one. It's tricky because there's all these big trucks in the way. Yeah, I will probably stream a lot more because I'll be able to have consistency. Um, but yeah. Also, yeah, I do want to do more tabletop stuff. I just recently, oof, I got a. Uh, not a boom arm, it's like a, a tabletop arm, where basically it's just two two mic stands at right angles to each other uh, that can like swivel. So it looks way nicer because uh, before I was using a mic stand with like an adapter. Ah, oh, you suck a punch and fool. Um, Brief aside, uh, I when I was on the plane uh, for the holidays, 
I was watching uh, The Suicide Squad, the newer, better one James, that James Gunn did, and it was the edited version for TV, right? Still super gory and stuff, and very violent, but uh, less swearing, and uh, one of the parts I really liked was um, Harley Quinn at one point is like getting really annoyed and she calls a bunch of guys a bunch of Mario Kart racing jerks. I thought that was really, really funny. I, I love silly uh, censorship like that. Um, that's just an aside. But uh, yeah, before I was using just like a mic stand like you'd use um, on a stage, right? And I had an adapter so that I could basically use it as a tripod with my uh, my point and shoot camera. It worked okay, but it was like really inconsistent and it was hard to level it off. With this, it's just always level. And you can go at pretty decent heights. Plus, because it's connected to the table, any bumps to the table will more or less stay consistent with the camera. You know, maybe a little bit of shakiness. And uh, I can go even higher because it could probably go at least half as high as my other stand did, but now it's going that high off of the table itself. There we go. That one was pretty easy. That that entire cup. Wow. First try. Of course, put a marker because I completed. All right. We're on a roll. Let's see the results. Why can't Banjo-Kazooie beat Mario Kart? Probably because it's Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> well, maybe someday. They're working on the next Mario Kart. People are saying it might be called Mario Kart Crossroads? Which could be interesting. Strange name, but you know what? I'm, I'd be down with it. Alright. 150cc. What, what do we got? Blue standard, huh? Uh, where's that versus... Whoop. Where's that versus... We got Slim. We got Monster. Maybe I'll go with Monster. Hmm... Leave time. Let's go. Let's try Monster out. Monster seems interesting. We're going on to the Banana Cup. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, here we go. This game can be kind of tough, but you know what? Ain't too bad. I've definitely laid harder. There we go. I also want to do uh, more digital tabletop games and those things. Let me tell you, despite being based on like, it seems like it'd be pretty simple, right? But like, man, they are, they are resource monsters. Like the digital version of Scythe, which Scythe is, to be fair, pretty heavy. Uh, in-depth game, I don't necessarily want to say complex, because I'd, I'd say it's a pretty straightforward kind of worker placement situation. Um, resource collection kind of thing. But like, my goodness, that thing, the second I turn it on, my, my, fan, my computer fans kick on hard. Um, tabletop simulator, I mean, ugh. it was my preferred one, for sure. I mean, okay, Board Game Arena is my preferred one, but they're proprietary, like, they have to actually, uh, themselves program each game, so that'll be, uh, that, that's, that's tough, uh, 
Tabletopia is nice, but again, proprietary. It's only the ones that they actually get permission for. Tabletop Simulator was like the 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 one that was big. But they were uh, they decided to you know they pulled the old we're just gonna stay out of it, not realizing that when you when you decide to be neutral in a conflict, you are taking the side of the status quo. So, like, if the status quo is crappy, then, uh, yeah, it's not a good choice. You know, that's why there's the, the whole movement now to not just be colorblind or whatever, but to be anti-racist, you know? It's not enough to just not be involved. You have to actively call out racism and fight against it if you want to be an ally. So similarly, yeah, they decided instead of, you know, banning people for being transphobic, uh, just got rid of the chat entirely, which is what the transphobes wanted, so. Good work, dumbass. You really, you really, really did something there. It sucks, because I really liked Tabletop Simulator, but... What can I do? You know? I, I just am not going to use it until they really improve their stuff. Sorry for any mic handling noise there. My boom arm is still pretty loud. That's another thing I want to get is a nicer boom arm, probably a pneumatic one. These monster wheels are pretty good. Got a nice heft to them. Whoa, 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 careful. Alright, we're going with a SNES. You can always tell it's a SNES one because of the big, chunky uh, primary color blocks all around the borders. And like everything being pretty flat. There's uh, there's some elevation here and there, but this is, this is a flat track. Whoop. Okay. Sometimes you gotta do a, a blind drift. It's tough. There's old Isabel. Hey, Isabel. Oh. Oh, ho ho ho. Uh oh. Oh, there's a banana. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Speed up, speed up. Ah. Ah, oh, didn't get the didn't get the trick. All right, we got another lap, so I'm not too worried being in second. Uh oh, uh oh, don't go off, don't go off. Ooh, that's a bit rough. That's a bit rough, but we're good. Get him. Ah, he protected himself. Ah, no. Yeah, I'm not going to get this, am I? Oh, well, maybe. Got a bit of track left. It's going to be tight. No, I don't think I'm getting better than second. Yep. Dang it. Well, okay, that's fine. For first try, not too bad. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going through on a casual to uh, get a feel for the other tracks. But uh, yeah, this is this one's a wash. There we go. Gentle, gentle. You don't always need a big boost. Well, okay, probably should have done better than that. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, nope. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, take that, boo. Ah, you 
See, look at that. Look at how fast the Kido is compared to like the the recoveries in Jack X. You gotta sit there for like several, several, several seconds waiting for it to just finally decide that you're allowed to play again. The Kido just picks you up and within two seconds you're good. Banana. A single banana peel. This be the path to victory. It wasn't decided on that day, but history books tell us that perhaps it was not. Come on, come on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Just could have gotten one of those as a boost. I'll be okay. Whoop, don't go off. Don't go off. Going off into the grass is not quite a death sentence, but it's enough. That it can be a deciding factor. Whoop. Alright, come on, come on man. Uh oh. Can I outrun it? Can I outrun it? No, 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 don't hit me here, don't hit me here! Oh. Okay. It got far enough that I, uh. Yeah, it got me far enough that it didn't pull me back. You get. If you get hit where it's gonna pull you to the back, you're just done. Ba bam Yep, 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 okay. And then what's the last one in this? I think it's one of the rainbow roads, right? Maybe, or maybe it's one of the weird ones. Oh, DK jungle, okay. Uh-oh. Hey, here we go. Wine? Okay. I hit the grass, but with a boost, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that good old DK music. Woo, watch out for the frog. Whoop, going around. I'm gonna pull you. Okay. Going pretty strong. If it wasn't for Donut Plains, man, I'd have this one in a bag. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, shoot. Ah! Nope, nope, nope. This is bad. This is quite bad. Ugh. That was rough. Yeah, take that, Morton. Whoa, there we go. I mean, this was already a, a wash of a run anyways. Uh, oh, hey, Monarch96. Um, is a Switch Lite worth it? I mean, if you want to play Switch games, basically, it's I, I appreciate it because it's basically like, if you want to play Switch games, but you 
just uh, you don't care about connecting it to a TV at all. Like if you don't have a TV or you don't think, you know, you're going to even use it that way very much. Um, yeah, it's like it's like a hundred bucks cheaper. They're still well built. It's not like the 2DS where the 2DS was really cheap, uh, really cheap build quality in comparison to the... Uh, to the 3DS, but the, the Switch Lite is actually pretty good. It's a little smaller, obviously, um, and it's it's got those kind of candy colors, which I think look nice. Um, and yeah, it plays all the games. So like, if you want to play Switch games, like even just the core Nintendo ones, like, um, like just having Mario Odyssey, and 300. There's a, you might want to uh, look around. The, it's supposed to only be 200 for the regular Switch. Or for the, the Switch, 300 for the regular Switch, 200 for the Switch Lite. Um, but yeah, like Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild alone are worth getting it for. And then also, there's so many different games. There are so many different games that uh, are cross-platform, but like the ability to play them portably, like, is fantastic. You know? What? All right, we're going serious again. Oh yeah, scalpers. I mean, I would always just buy it from like, you know some major retailer more than anything. I would say, yeah, it's not worth 300, but for 200, or even if you could find it, uh, a used one in good condition on eBay for under 200, I'd say it's totally worth it. The Switch is a great console. Ah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Nintendo, li like the, um, the online subscription, it's like 30, wait, no. The, for the family plan, it's like 35 bucks a year. For like a single one, I think it's like 20 bucks a year. And then if you want like the, um, the like deluxe package, which comes with the N64, Genesis, and uh, some DLC stuff. Currently it just DLC for Animal Crossing. Uh, which is another great one to get. Um, but, you know, it'll have... Uh, probably have other ones in the future. Uh, that is, like... That's, like, 50-something bucks a year, I think. But, like, if you don't care about that stuff, getting just the cheaper one. You know, and that one still comes with the uh, NES and SNES ones. Uh, and uh, all the other, you know, Tetris... Tetris Max or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I just canceled my Netflix. It's, they just raised the price again by like a buck fifty, which is like not that bad, but no, I don't they keep doing that, just doing these tiny little things, and it's like it, it, Oh my god, I'm doing terrible in this because I keep looking at chat and whatever. It's a chill time. Yeah, yeah, no, the uh, the Nintendo Switch Online is, like, one of the most affordable um, online, online services, especially compared to PlayStation and Xbox. Like, they, they really gouge you with that. And I get it that, like, with PlayStation, you get, like, a couple free games a month. There's probably some perks with... Uh, Xbox as well, but no, I'm I'm fully on on board with Nintendo for the most part. Like I know it's less powerful, but like overall, Nintendo always keeps the focus on making sure their games are fun. Cause like I won't I won't say that like necessarily Sony or Microsoft don't make some good games, but the majority of them feel like they're not great. Um, there's some good stuff on Netflix, but it's like, it's not worth that. 
I definitely agree. Like, there's some stuff where I'm like, I, d I do enjoy it, but eh, a lot of it, it's just not worth it. Um, Amazon Prime, I should use more. I mostly end up using it for the free, the free sub here on Twitch, and then also, uh, the better delivery options for actually ordering stuff. YouTube Premium, I had briefly. It was okay to not have ads, but like, yeah, I, I, uh. I don't know. It doesn't seem quite like it's worth it. And I think they're phasing it out, aren't they? They're like, they're still gonna have YouTube TV, but um, yeah, YouTube Premium, I think, is going going away sometime. Or maybe that was just something that they were considering. Maybe it wasn't even real. I, I've heard it through like a third party source, so. Take all of that with a grain of salt. I don't present the news, I just present commentary. Yeah, no, that's the thing is like Amazon, Amazon is a really great affordable service, but it's only that way because they screw over their workers. Like they have to do such underhanded nonsense to make that happen. And it's like, I don't know, it sucks. But living in capitalism, you don't really have a choice for the most part. Like, I guess you could not use Amazon, but then it's like, well, what are you gonna use? You're not gonna be able to find like an independent grocery store and like independent home furnishings and stuff, you know? Like maybe if you're lucky, but a lot of times it's like, you gotta go to Walmart or Target or something. And it's all like, it's all just varying degrees of the same evils. Like, before Amazon, everybody was all about, you know, hating on Walmart, and now that Amazon's there, it's just digital Walmart all over again. God dang, this this track is what's gonna give me the most trouble in these runs. This, this is ridiculous, man. It's so tight. It's very curvy. And, and just twisty. Everybody's right on top of each other getting smacked by, like, man, I don't know. Yeah. Seventh? Eighth, maybe. I think I can keep up with seventh, at least. Why do I... I have these pro... Uh, my paddles programmed incorrectly, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, those warehouses are ridiculous. I worked at um, a couple of Nintendo warehouses over the years, and Nintendo's a little nicer about it, but if you aren't, like, staff, if you are one of, like, their seasonal workers, you're, yeah, very disposable to them, and they don't pay. They pay okay, but the hours are terrible. Like, you'd have to, you'd have to get there at, like, five in the morning or earlier and just wait around for an hour to find out if they even needed you for work. So you were expected to show up, like you were expected to show up every time, and like 80% of the time you just wouldn't work. So you just had to go home exhausted with like, you know, and you're getting paid by the hour. So if you don't work, you don't get paid. It was ridiculous. Like, I don't know, why, why, that's the thing, it's like they wanted to have a big workforce for the few times when it was a lot of work, but like, most of the time they only needed like a handful of people. Frustrating. Frustrating. I don't know, man. That's just corporations in general. You you can only exist as what use you have to someone. Like even as a freelancer, where I'm I'm working in a skilled job where I do my own marketing, I do my own negotiation for wages and everything, and I command a lot more respect than I did when I was just doing grunt work for uh, warehouses and stuff. It's still very frustrating because people expect so much of you for so little, they really don't understand 
that you get what you pay for. Uh, wh what's the, the thing? It's like, um, there, there are three factors in every job. You know, in every product or service, there are three factors. You can get it good, you can get it quick, and you can get it cheap. You only can have two of those. It's uh, so many people expect to get all three of them, but it's it's just not possible. All right, if you want it good and you want it quick, it's gonna it's gonna cost you. And if you want it quick and you want it cheap, it's you're not gonna get good quality. If you good want it good and you want it cheap, then it's gonna take it some time. But everybody wants it. They want it good. They want it quick. They want it affordable. And it's like, no. I'm really tired of that, you know, one of the main platforms that I do voiceover for, like, they really kind of force you into trying to do that, and it's like, I can work really fast, but I should be getting paid more for it. It's very stressful. It's really exhausting. And I, I don't get paid nearly enough for it, so it's, yeah, that, and especially with some changes that platform has made recently, I don't know how long I'm even gonna be spending with them. I might still do, like, you know, I, I will probably lower my workload on that and focus my efforts more towards getting clients that respect me more. Oh, come on. Oh, I should I should have hit him before then. Uh, do do do. Oh, it's fine. It, it's fine to have the wall of text. I uh, I just need a second to read it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's fully true, like, the, the, people have rights, all right? They have workers' rights, and doing stuff like that is fully against them, but the problem, the problem is that the, the consequence for breaking workers' rights is just fines. Amazon can afford them, easily. It's not even, it's literally not even a problem for them. I'm sure they budget in to their yearly thing, like, all the fines they're gonna have to pay. And yeah, it's absurd that they're, like, they're overworking people to death. Uh, the whole thing with the, like, tornado, where they would not let the employees leave, and they, they died, because the whole place got destroyed by a tornado. Um, and, like, they weren't even paying them anything. They expect so much of them to literally put their lives on the line for the company. And they're paying them, like, literally the least they possibly can with basically no benefits. Or if they have benefits, they're total garbage. And meanwhile, Jeff Bezos is making literally millions every hour. Millions that he's never gonna use. Like, literally, he has hundreds of billions of dollars now. And what's he gonna do with that? Most of it is just gonna, like, mold away in his bank account after he dies. There's genuinely no reason for any person to have that much money. Period. Like, I don't care. I sincerely don't care. I feel like if you make, if you make more than, if you make more than, like, 10 million, if you make, that's eight figures, if you make eight figures a year, you should be fully taxed for everything above that. Like, genuinely, everything you make over $10 million should just be ta like, taxed at 100%, and you should be giving it back to society. Because there's literally no reason for you to hang on to it. Like, there's nothing that you're gonna be able to do with that money that, like, isn't gonna just be just jamming it in a bank account. Like, it's just, you're wasting... It's just wasteful. It's sitting there doing nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like, they make more than that. Sincerely, they'll make, like... Like, closer to a billion. Like, hundreds of millions a year. And it's, like... Just... It's so stupid. Just... It should be common sense to everyone that that is just ludicrous and should not be allowed, period. It just should not be legal to possess that much money. There's no ethical explanation. No human being could ever work hard enough or do anything that has that much value to it. Like, it's just fully ridiculous. 
I see I see your chats. I'm just uh I'm, I'm getting all fired up now and I'm having trouble with actually playing. Oh jeez. Flipping. And twisting. I might be able to might be able to right at the end pull this out. Nope. Nope, that red shell sealed it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's like a 50k fine, which for like an average person would be fine. Or an average person, that would destroy them. I could not pay that, but then them, it's like that's not even half of a half of a percent. Oh, and your one chat. I'll, I'll allow that. Um, no, it's all good with the, the chat. I just, I'm, I'm not great at keeping up with chat and playing a racing game as much. I, I just need to practice more. So it, thank you for that help. Uh, the new Pokemon game, I have not played it. Coco has been playing it, so I've seen, seen some bits. It does look pretty fun. You know, I mean, the, the obvious comparison is basically Breath of the Wild with Pokemon, but like... That doesn't sound like a bad thing to me. That sounds great. But, uh, yeah, I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance yet. Mainly because we got the physical copy. And Coco's been playing it. I, I honestly, outside of streaming, I do not get much chance to play games. If I have the opportunity to play games, I try and play tabletop games. Um, and, yeah, it's like... I literally, I, I focus around games that I can play with people so that I can get the most out of my playtime. Or games I can play for people, basically, like this, you know, playing it as a form of entertainment for others. And then, very rarely, if I just genuinely don't have the energy to work, which, um, it can vary, I, I, I will sometimes just hang out and enjoy a game for fun, but it's like once a month will I actually sit down and play a game just for fun. I was, uh, when they put Paper Mario on the N64 expansion pack for Switch Online, I was playing that pretty hardcore for a while, uh, but I kind of got hit a lull with it where I was kind of having to go back. I was trying to 100% it, so I was having to go back and find like all the star pieces that I hadn't gotten, and because I I had the the like locator, I was just like paying really close attention, and I just was going around with Watt uh, to see all the hidden blocks. Oh jeez, I'm I'm really guffing this one. Oh, uh oh, I looked at the chat. Ooh, come on. Ah, oh, dang it, I could've gotten a flip off that. Dang it, I was in the air, I couldn't drop the banana in time. Ah! Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Ah, oh, I didn't get any sparks, come on. Come on, give me a couple. Come on, give me some. Ah, uh, no! Right, Bowser's big enough that he's gonna mess me up. Or I can even hurt him. Ooh, the top five are all pretty tight in here. See, that's the thing with this game. You can actually get some distance from your opponents. In Jack X, it's like literally everybody is like right on top of each other the whole time. So like you can get maybe a few feet ahead of your guy, but it's like it hardly matters. No, no, I'm um, ending in third. Oh, fourth. Oh, fifth. Oh, fourth. Dang. Um, yeah. 
yeah, that's the big thing that appeals to me about uh, Pokemon Ars or Pokemon Legends Arceus is like it's something different. I've always preferred the Pokemon spin-offs to begin with because I've never been super into turn-based um, RPGs like that. Turn-based strategy, I I enjoy, and obviously I play like a lot of tabletop games when I can. So turn-based stuff in general, I'm down with, but uh. Yeah, turn-based RPGs just, I don't know, they feel dull? Like, some of them will have something interesting going on, but for the most part, it's like, it's just going through menus. And, like, in my experience, so many turn-based RPGs, there's just, like, no challenge. There's, like, a very clear, like, line of, like, this is a good idea, this is not. Right? Oh, you can hit those guys and knock them down. Okay, I didn't even realize that. Like, that's my problem with the uh, Pokemon, which I was trying to do a full dex run, but I just got so bored. It's just, um, Pokemon is so tedious. Like, I understand that people still enjoy it, which is like, good for them, but like, I can't, man. My brain needs a little more stimulation. Especially, like, they, they ask so much of your time, right? Like, they take so long to play. And then, if I'm not actually getting it, like I said, I get so little time to play games. So, like, do I really want to spend my time playing games just playing mindless, mindless gameplay? No, I want, I want to do something new. I want to experience something interesting. I want to, you know, at least, like get my brain working and like so rarely in turn-based games is that even the case I like something like Undertale where it's got it has elements um it has like action -y elements you know so it's like yes it's still going through menus and turn-based and all that but like all of the dodging and stuff super super interesting super fun the writing is also really good like if the story is good enough I'm down um even something as simple as like an action command, like in Paper Mario or uh, Mario RPG. When I was playing Mario RPG, I was actually really enjoying myself. Um, there was at least that little bit of thing to keep you like, keep you on top of it. But like with so many, it's just like you hit a button, it plays an animation, it gives you a number. And like, I don't know, it, especially when the number is hyper predictable. Like if there was more chance to it, maybe it'd be something interesting or like, or if you could do more to affect the numbers, you know? Like you can line stuff up, I guess. But one of the things I really love about tabletop is like maybe something like Magic the Gathering, right? Where the whole thing is about setting up combos and like boosting up all of your characters um, so that you can, so that you can like do more damage. Like, that's a little more interesting to me. Or I was playing the uh, Binding of Isaac card game, Binding of Isaac Four Souls. And that's super fun because it, it's it's effectively just Munchkin, where you, like, try and fight a monster to get enough points to win, but everybody else can, like, drop cards to, like, mess things up for you and you can buff yourself up. But similar to the Binding of Isaac video game, there's so much room for crazy combos there's a million items and they can connect and work with each other in such strange ways and similarly it's like not every game is going to be that interesting you know many many games of uh finding of isaac the video game are just kind of like blah like oh i didn't really get anything and i died like in a couple levels but when you hit that run where you get some kind of bonkers, like, combo, and it's just so silly and so fun, like, that's that's really the juice, and that's something that I think the, the card game does pretty solidly. And I'm waiting on it. They got a... They got uh, the new expansion coming out which is um, Binding of Isaac Four Souls Requiem, and I backed it on Kickstarter. I'm super excited to get it. 
uh, back to the big boy box tier. So I got a big, it's going to have a, a big old like treasure chest style box full of foam that'll hold uh, the base game and gold box expansion that I have now, which I got as a part of the, the tapeworm Kickstarter that Edmund McMillan did. And then um, I'm also going to be getting the new expansion Requiem, and I'm going get, to be getting uh, the, the not really secret expansion, but just like um, mostly unnoticed expansion, which is uh, Four Souls Plus. It was the first expansion that he made, and it, he even pointed out it's like it's because of the name. The name, it's hard to even tell that that is like a new thing. So. He regrets giving it that title. Uh, no! What are you- Are you kidding me? Right at the end? Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that as well, so that I have the full set. I, I guess I'll be, uh, missing out on some of the promo cards and stuff, but that's, you know, that's just how things go. But, uh, yeah, basically because I'm gonna have so many cards. I'm basically just gonna grab, like, a chunk of each type of card when I go into play so that I don't have a ridiculous set going on. And if there's some card that's like, go through all the cards, then, like, obviously I'll allow people to go through the box and stuff, but... It's Donut Plains, man. Donut Plains keeps throwing me. All right, uh, dry, dry desert ain't no problem. Is that uh, donut plains every time? Ba boom, let's go. Out of my way, Isabel. Up, oh, drifted too early. Get him, and <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's very satisfying. Oh, you know what else I'm excited for? It's coming out soon, or maybe it's already out. I haven't been paying very close attention. Is, uh... Advanced War... Advanced War Remake. They're doing, like, a, a port of the first two to Switch, which is awesome. Very excited for that. Because Advanced War... I, I love those games. I was never very good at them because they're, like, economy-based... Uh, strategy war games, which I I like to play, but I'm very bad at. I, I can never quite quite uh, rock what's happening. But uh, you know, that's all right. Play games for. I'm hoping that the online for that is gonna be awesome. It's like I'll probably get sweeped every time, but like having online play for a game that was originally on GBA and you had to use the link cable, that would be sick. Unless, ooh, I'm, I'm very nervous. Uh, if they don't have online play, it's gonna be a huge miss opportunity on their part. Like, I, I would be very shocked if they didn't. It would honestly be the most important uh, addition. Ah, no! Come on, come on, dude. Give me some good, give me some good. Wait, okay, I'll take it. Keep overshooting. No! Come on, come on, come on, give me some good. No, 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 keep going, keep going. Isabel's on my tail. I get it because she's a dog. Okay. I mean the oasis. Did he hop with the kangaroos? Another flip. We're, we're zipping by. Is this the end of it? Oh no 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 you don't. Oh no you don't. Oh, they got me right past. There we go. There we go. Oh. Now we come to my nemesis, Donut Plains. Yeah, I wish Donut Plains was the first, because I can get Dry Dry Desert pretty much every time, but Donut Plains is what really... 
what really messes with me. Ba bam, here we go. Okay. Don't do a jump. That one's deceptive. It feels like you can do uh, a flip, but there's just not enough time. Alright, we're mudding. We're mudding, boys. Ah, frick! Everybody's so close together that you have no time to react on those. It's alright, it's alright. We're still, we're still in lap two. So I got a little time. As long as I don't drop below fifth, I think I'll probably be alright. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I could have dropped. Oh, 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 nice, nice. Oof. Oh, it's always a, a toss up whether or not you're going to be too close. Skid, skid. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I got a little distance, a little distance. Not not much to work with, but we're, we're keeping it together. Oh, Isabelle's getting a little close. Don't even, don't even, dog. I say it because she is a dog. No, I ain't, I ain't being appropriate over here, nothing. She is, in fact, a canine. Whoa. She's gonna try and take it from me right at the end here. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. There we go. Ooh, okay. We got we got two more. Fingers crossed. Oh uh, yeah, that'll end up like right at the end here. Royal Way Royal Raceway. Feel feel pretty solid on. Ba bam, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're zipping, we're zapping. Alright, save that mushroom for one of these straightaways. Oh, no, 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 I didn't get enough spark. Alright. So we're working with it. Uh oh, watch out. Watch out. Don't hit that balloons. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Donkey Kong 1 also might be a bit of a toss up. I think I'm pretty solid on the Royal Raceway. But yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about the Donkey Kong one just a touch. That keeps giving me coins. I need some, I need some juice. I need some to protect me in case somebody tries to hit me with that uh, red shell. Okay, bananas. Another coin. Man, I keep giving me these dang coins. Whoop! That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, somebody's coming up the back with that bullet bill. So right, that hits everybody. So I don't feel too singled out by it, you know. Whoop! Uh oh! Uh oh! Shoot! 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 shoot. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Oh, uh, I lost my groove. I lost my momentum. We're good. We're good. Nope. We're not. We're not. Ah, oh, got him. Sniped him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She got my slipstream. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, she was right there. Oh, oh, I wanted to steal that mushroom. Okay, we're good. We're good, though. Yes, who's got a slipstream now, son? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody hit her with the blue shell, please. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Oh, no! Ah! 
Oh no. Right at the last second. Oh no. Oops. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, I wish I had a camera for that one. Oh well. Ah, well that's gonna do it. I gotta go make dinner, so... I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you very much for picking my stream as your choice of streaming entertainment today. I know you have a lot of choices in streaming entertainment, some we went over in this stream, but uh, yeah, I appreciate you choosing me. Please take the time to uh, subscribe and follow. Use your Twitch Prime sub, which Amazon Prime. Connect the two accounts, you get free Prime. You get a free sub a month. Use on me. Appreciate it, because I know you will. Check me out on Twitter and YouTube, and I have a YouTube channel that's just the Twitch archive. I have a Discord channel, or a Discord server, uh, which is, I think, pretty sweet. Go check it out. You know, you can promote your stuff there and all sorts of stuff. We're going to raid over to someone, uh, but yeah, I hope you'll join me on Thursday. Maybe get back to Jack X. Maybe this will be something racing. But uh, in any case, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, what do we got? Um... Jason Payne James. Ain't, ain't done him in a while. All right, let's read over to Jason Payne James. And, you know, let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your week and everything, folks. And, yeah, I hope you have a grand old time. Talk to you all on Thursday. Hope to see you there. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.